Hey, we're doing some more Sporkle, okay? Because I wanted to. And because, honestly, I feel like I've been learning a lot about popular music. Like, I know what music I like to listen to. But at the same time, um, I don't know who the top 10 artists of the 2000s are. Can you name the top 10 artists of each year of the 2000s by their performances in the Billboard Top 10? I can do my best, but this is how I find out that like Kelly Rowland is like way more popular than I ever imagined and nobody gives a shit about LCD sound system except for people with gray in their beards like me. Okay. Can you name the top 10 artists of each year by their performance in the Billboard Top 10? We got 10 minutes. Okay. First one, breathe. I can hear you breathe. That's Faith Hill. Smooth. Santana featuring Rob Thomas. So is Maria Maria. I want to know. I don't know it. Everything you want. I feel like that's Vertical Horizon. Say my name. Destiny's Child. I knew I loved you before I met. Is that Sa Savage Garden? Amazed. Isn't that Blue Rodeo? Baby, I'm amazed by you. Baby, I'm amazed. Okay, sorry. Bent is Matchbox 20. He wasn't man enough for me. Is that Monica? Monica! He wasn't man enough for me. Look my hadron. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I want you marry him. Don't you know as I done it with me? He wasn't man enough for me. I don't know this one. I feel like I should know this, but I don't know this. I thought it was Monica, but... Hanging by a moment. Lifehouse. Falling. Alicia Keys. All for you. I don't know it. Drops of Jupiter, tell me. That would be Train. I'm Real. That's Ashanti featuring Ja Rule. Uh, no. Um, ja Rule? Yeah, uh, Jennifer Lopez featuring Ja Rule. My mistake. Let me blow your mind. That's Eve and Gwen Stefani. Thank you. Dido, again. Again. I don't know. I don't think I know again. Again? Never again. Okay, 2002, that's where you get never again. You get Nickelback's How You Remind Me, American Spelling. Hot in Here, that would be Nelly. He also did Dilemma. Wherever You Will Go. Wherever you will go. Way up high, way down low. Oh, it's, it's Star House or something like that. I don't know who made that one. Something like a thousand miles is Vanessa Carlton. You got Lincoln Park. Blurry is puddle of mud. I don't know who made you got it bad. In the club is 50 cent. Ignition remix is currently incarcerated felon Robert Kelly. Get busy. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know who get busy is crazy in love is Beyonce. When I'm Gone, I believe, is Three Doors Down. Right There, is that Chingy? That's a Chingy one. Miss You, Blink-182. No? Okay. Picture. Picture is Kid Rock featuring Sheryl Crow. Bring Me to Life, Evanescence. Okay. I think so far, so good. We'll probably pick up some of the ones that we missed as we get further along as well, hopefully. Miss You. Okay. Yeah and Burn is Usher. Hey, there you go. Oh, that's, you got it, you got it, but, ooh, and you got it, you got it. You got, okay, I know that one. This love is Maroon 5. The way you move is big boy. Come on, that's not Outcast. I'm sorry, it's not Outcast. Neither is Hey Ya. I call the judge for a semantic difference. The reason is Huba Stank. I don't want to know. I don't know it. Goodies. I don't know it. Lean Back is Terror Squad, as we found out yesterday, is not a Fat Joe Soylent, Soylent solo joint. We Belong Together. Okay, that's Mariah Carey. Holla Back Girl is Gwen Stefani. Let Me Love You. I feel like, is that not Justin Timberlake? No? Okay. Since You've Been Gone, that's Kelly Clarkson. One Two Step, Sierra. Sierra. Gold Digger, Kanye West. Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Green Day, Don't Ya, Pussycat Dolls, Bad Day, that is Daniel Powter, Temperature is Sean Paul, 
Promiscuous is Nelly Furtado. You're beautiful, James Blunt. Hips Don't Lie, that's Shakira. Unwritten, Natasha Bedingfield. Honestly, have no idea where that information existed in my brain. Literally just appeared to me in a vision. Okay. Raiden is Chameleonaire. Crazy. In 2006, I couldn't tell you, honestly. Because that's not Casey and JoJo. That was Save the Last Dance. That's like 2001. I saw it in chat. It's Gnarls Barkley and I'm embarrassed. Yes, it is Gnarls Barkley, but I'm not typing it in. Umbrella, Rihanna. Big Girls Don't Cry, Fergie. Buy You a Drink, Shorty Snapping. I'm going to go ahead and make an educated guess that that's T-Pain. Before He Cheats is Carrie Underwood. Hey There, Delilah. That would be the plain white tees. I Want to Love You. Jason Derulo. I had no idea. Okay. I also don't know Bleeding Love. Lollipop is Lil Wayne. <coughs> you can tell when I stopped listening to the radio. Stop listening to the radio. I don't know Apologize. No Air. Love Song. With You or Forever. I'm thinking maybe Pink might be involved in some of these. Never mind. Okay. Boom Boom Pow. That would be the Black Eyed Peas. Poker Face, Just Dance. That's Lady Gaga. Wait, wait, wait. Love Story, Taylor Swift. I don't know the other. Oh, the other one's called Love Song. Right Round is Timbaland. Apologize is Timbaland. Wait, no. Right Round is Flow Rider. My mistake. I'm Yours, Jason Mraz, Gives You Hell. That's not Pink. Are you serious? Apologize is, is uh, One Republic. Okay, so I know Apologize. It's too late to apologize. It's too late. I know that one. I don't think I know the rest of these. I, I hit give up. I should have gotten the Gnarls Barkley one. Okay, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Let Me Love You by Mario. Only thing I know about Mario, he has... Like the worst song in Sesame Street history. Also, he's played by Chris Pratt. Crazy with Gnarls Barkley, I should have gotten. I Want to Love You by Akon. I only know Dangerous. I have no idea who Leona Lewis, Jordan Sparks are. I feel like I've heard of Sarah Bareilles, but I, I could not name a song that she's ever done. All American Rejects had a hit in 2009. I had no idea. Miss You by Aaliyah. Wherever you will go is by The Calling. Dude, oh, okay. Actually, some of these are kind of bothering me, okay? Because like, All For You by Janet Jackson. Yes. This is from the Nutty Professor 2 soundtrack. Nothing really matters. No, wait, that doesn't really matter. But Again by Lenny Kravitz. I won't, I, tell me when I get to see you again. I know that one. I don't know about Mario Winans. He wasn't man. <coughs> I was going to say Tony Braxton, but then I was like, no, Unbreak My Heart was in like 1995. There's no way she came out with a, a hit in 2000. She'd be like 100 years old. Lone Star, I said Blue Rodeo. Same shit, man. Whatever. Is there more like that? Oh, absolutely. Okay, let's do it, man. Top 10 artists of the 90s. Okay. I mean, I was barely alive for some of these, but hold... What is this color scheme? Freaking University of Michigan Wolverines helmet. Okay, hold on is Wilson Phillips. Nothing compares to you. That's Sinead O'Connor. Vogue is Madonna. Hold on. <laughs> Poison. Everything I do, I do it for you. That's Brian Adams. Gonna make you sweat. Everybody dance now. CNC Music Factory. CNC Music Factory. Rush, rush. We know this. this is Paula Abdul. More than words. I know this. 
I have to, I, I, early 90s are going to be fucked. Just get ready, okay? Baby got back. Sir Mix a lot. Jump, that's going to be Chris Cross. Save the best for last. Whitney Houston. Save the best for last. That's not Whitney Houston. <laughs> are you kidding me? That's not Whitney Houston. Tears in heaven. Okay, that's Clapton. Under the bridge. Red Hot Chili Peppers. All for love, just another day. Okay, whoop, there it is. Informer by Snow. Look, I could do that. We got to get to some shit that I was alive for, man. Okay, this, here we go. The sign, Ace of Base. I swear by the moon and the stars in the sky. Stay, I missed you, Lisa Loeb. Hero, this is not Chad Kroger featuring Josie Scott or Enrique Iglesias. Enrique? Power of Love, is this not um, Huey Lewis and the News? There's two songs called The Power of Love. I mean, I know that Back to the Future didn't come out in 1994, but still. Okay, here we go. Gangster's Paradise, Coolio, Waterfalls, TLC, Creep, also TLC's best song. Kiss from a Rose, Seal, On Bended Knee, I don't know. But I do know Montel Jordan saying this is how we do it. Don't take it personal, just one of them days. Could not tell you. Macarena. I never know who sings that. It's like Lost Lonely Boys. Because you loved me. Is that Amy Grant? Okay. Um, is that Trisha Yearwood? Is that Allison Krauss? Always Be My Baby is Mariah Carey. That's gonna, I was just going to say, that's going to give me a few. Give me one reason. Give me one reason. Yep, The Crossroads, that would be Bone Thugs and Harmony. Candle in the Wind, 1997. We got Eldon John, okay? You Were Meant for Me, Foolish Games. Chris Isaac, I'll Be Missing You. Puff Daddy, P. Diddy. <laughs> Excuse me, I typed Puff Daddy. Then I typed P. Diddy and a bunch of shit that says Puff Daddy popped up. You type Daddy, D-A-D-Y, my mistake, my mistake. Unbreak My Heart, Tony, Toxie Branton, Tony Braxton, I Believe I Can Fly, noted incarcerated felon Robert Kelly, Return of the Mac, Craig Morris, done. Craig Morrison, Morrison, Mark Morrison. <laughs> My mistake. I, I always get it confused with Craig Mack because the song's called Return of the Mack. So I always think the dude's name is Craig. How do I live? How do I live with... How do, how do I... How do I... Dude, that's Leanne Rhymes. That got us a few. I'll take that. Wannabe, the Spice Girls. Come on, we can get to 60. Too close? All the songs that you requesting, we're dancing like we're naked. Ooh, it's almost like we're sexing. This is next. Oh, yeah. The Boy Is Mine, Brandy featuring Monica. You're Still the One, Shania Twain. Savage Garden. All My Life. Casey and JoJo. Together Again. Nice and slow. I don't want to wait. Okay. Believe, that's share. Baby One More Time, Britney Spears. Kiss Me, that's six pence, none the richer. Genie in a Bottle would be Christina Aguilera. Every Morning would be Sugar Ray. Nobody's supposed to be here. I don't know. Live in La Vida Loca, that's Ricky Martin, okay? <coughs> two more. Can I get two more? Twisty. You know, I mean, like, this is when I was not, a, I was a toddler, right? More than words, I should know. Another day in paradise. 
Who's big in the 90s? Garth Brooks. You can't deny it. He was big in, in the 90s. I swear. It's one of those bands you never hear about. Freak me. What about, was Salt and Peppa on here? At any, no? What about Boys Two Men? Oh! You knew it had to happen. Okay. Average score 45. I'll accept that. We took a little brute force. Poison by Bell Biv Devo. This is one that people are saying they're surprised I don't know. What, how does this one go? Unbelievable by EMF. That one hurts. I should have gotten. Oh, that girl is poison. Dude, honestly, we could have gotten Vanessa Williams saved the best for last. I said Whitney Houston. We also could have gotten On Vogue, because now I'm realizing I know this song. I can't believe I don't I didn't get it from the title, because it goes, My loving, yo, you're never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. You ain't never gonna get it. And I'm like, I've never heard of this song before in my life. UB40. Okay, I'm not surprised I didn't get it. I'm definitely not surprised I didn't get Rec X and Effect. Celine Dion, I'm just going to be honest, I'm not a fan. But I tell you, Lost Lonely Boys, Lost Del Rio. Celine Dion would have gotten us a couple. Let me get you uh, in a haze with maze, fulfilling our every temp. What does he say? Let me, let me get your sheet sweat listening to Keith Sweat. Put you in a daze with maze, fulfilling our every temptation, slow jam and having deep. You ready for the world, girl? Come on, I'm gonna be able to touch you. I'm gonna be able And every note, I'm gonna be able to listen to Joe to see. I should have known you were meant for me. That's Jewel. She's Alaska's most famous hard rocker. The rest, I don't really know. Who the heck is Deborah Cox? Okay, 80s should be the worst of all. <laughs> most famous Beck lookalike. Call me, Blondie, Another Brick in the Wall, Pink Floyd, Magic, I don't know, Rock With You is Michael Jackson, <laughs> George Michael had a couple apparently, Michael Jackson, I've already got nine, Do That To Me One More Time, okay, Crazy Little Thing Called Love, this thing is by Queen. I always get that one wrong. It's either Queen or John Cougar Mellencamp. Funky Town, uh, come on. It's still rock and roll to me, though. That's Billy Joel. I can get that. Betty Davis Eyes, I don't know. Endless Love, I'm going to say that's Streisand. It's not Streisand. Lady, Tom Jones. No. Jesse's Girl, Rick Springfield. Celebration. Casey and the Sunshine Band. I mean, Earth, Wind, and Fire. What? Kiss on my list. Come on, that's Hall and Oates. Nine to five, Dolly Pardon. Keep on loving you has to be Ario Speedwagon. Physical, Olivia, Newton, John. Eye of the, ooh, Eye of the Tiger, Survivor. I love rock and roll, Joan Jett, Ebony and Ivory. Is this not Stevie Wonder with Paul McCartney? Centerfold? Oh, baby. Uh, Jay Giles Band. We talk about it every day. Don't You Want Me is the Human League. Abracadabra, Steve Miller. Hard to say I'm sorry, I just don't know. Every breath you take is the police. I don't know Flashdance, what a feeling, but I do know Down Under. That's Men at Work. Maniac, also from Flashdance. Eurythmics did Sweet Dreams Made of These. When Doves Cry, Prince. What's Love Got to Do With It? Tina Turner. Footloose. Against All Odds, Take a Look at Me Now. I should know that, probably. Yo, Rare Yes Sighting. Owner of a Lonely Heart. Hello, Lionel Richie. Jump is Van Halen. Ghostbusters is Ray Parker Jr. Karma Chameleon is by Culture Club. Okay, so far, so good. We got a Madonna song. I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. Foreigner. 
We got it. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. I know I feel for you. I think I love you. Is that Sade? Is that on Vogue? Okay, I know that one. Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Great uh, song. That's Tears for Fears. Money for Nothing. That's Dire Straits. I saw a Take on Me. That's Aha. Excuse me. That's Aha. I should know I feel for you, man. I miss you. Okay, Broken Wings is Mr. 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 Get Me Out of Here. How Will I Know? That's Whitney Houston. That's a big one. Party All the Time is Eddie Murphy. That song is the, the lone hit from Eddie Murphy's um, solo career. And it's crazy. The narrative is that it killed his music career. But he, Party All the Time kind of goes hard. I gotta do a murder. My girl wants to party all the time. Party all the time. Dude, it's kind of a slapper. Anyway, Addicted to Love. Is that Robert Palmer? She's so fine, there's no telling where the money went. Walk like an Egyptian. That's the bangles. Alone? Couldn't tell you. C'est la vie. Couldn't. Here I go again. Are we in the 2000s? Okay, living on a prayer is Bon Jovi. I feel like I should know Shakedown. Is that ACDC? Loose metal. Aluminum foil. High voltage. Here I go again is White Snake. I'm stupid. C'est la vie. Nothing's going to stop us. <laughs> now, shake you down alone. I don't know. Got my mind set on you. We got George Harrison. Never going to give you up. It's Rick Astley. We got Guns and Roses. I think we're alone now. It's Tiffany. Hands to heaven. Roll with it. Heaven's a place on earth. I know heaven is a truck. Look away. My prerogative. That's Bobby Brown. Every rose, rose has his thorn. Poison. Also made famous in the movie Fubar 2. Wind Beneath My Wings. Bed Midler. Girl You Know Is True. Millie Vanilli. Baby I Love Your Way slash Freebird Medley. That must be Peter Frampton. How could, this, how could this Baby I Love Your Way Freebird Medley Free Baby? How could this not be Peter Frampton? Free Baby? In this economy? Whatever. I'm pretty pleased with myself. It's Anita Baker. Which of these am I upset by? I'm not that upset now that I realize I missed the Bob Seger song. Shaka Khan should have gotten the shot. That's the big miss here is the Shaka Khan. Cool in the gang. That one does hurt. Everything else, I don't know. Maybe I should have just thrown out. I didn't even, I'm just going to be honest with you. I never saw Total Eclipse of the Heart. I don't think I ever said the text out loud. I know that that's by Bonnie Tyler. Yesterday, I, I saw the, a single frame from the music video. I said, and I quote, editors, feel free to grab the clip. That's Total Eclipse of the Heart by Bonnie Tyler. Made famous in the movie Bandits, starring Bruce Willis, Billy Bob Thornton, and Kate Blanchett, one of the most squandered casts of all time. Okay, that was a great quiz, though. I, all three of those, I had a fantastic time. They don't, they don't have a 2010s one. Otherwise, I'd be all over it. They only had three in the, in the list. Okay, how about... Well, you know what? Now I'm going back to which 2009 movie, man. Can you select the 2009 movie that fits the following criteria? Todd Phillips directed The Hangover. Lowest critic score on Rotten Tomatoes? 
Of these, probably Sherlock Holmes, directed by Pete Docter. That would be up. Score was composed by Michael Giacchino. Come on. Highest budget has got to be Avatar. Longest runtime. I have a hard time believing it's not Avatar. Lowest production budget, The Hangover. Rachel McAdams. She must be in Sherlock Holmes. Bradley Cooper's in The Hangover. Most Oscar nominations, that would be Avatar. Shortest runtime. Comedies tend to be short, but children's movies also tend to be a little shorter. I'm going to say this is up. Robert Downey Jr.'s in Sherlock Holmes. Most money at the box office was Avatar. Produced by Pixar, up. Score composed by Hans Zimmer. As Avatar or Sherlock Holmes was passed for a minute. Did not receive any Oscar nominations. Definitely this could win for like costumes. Nominated, nominated. It's got to be The Hangover. Because they don't respect comedy in the Academy. James Cameron directed Avatar. Least money at the box office. Honestly, it's probably The Hangover, even though it was a smash hit success. It's still an R-rated comedy. Highest critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. I gotta say this is Up. Directed by Guy Ritchie. That would be Sherlock Holmes. Okay. Michael Giacchino and Hans Zimmer. Definitely feel like they brought out Hans Zimmer for Avatar. Definitely feel like they brought out... I mean, there's no score in The Hangover. I'm going to say that they brought out um, him for Avatar. <laughs> Whatever. That was still very impressive until the end. Who did James Cameron do the soundtrack on Avatar? How about which 2010 movie? Which movie was not nominated for any Oscars? This shit is impossible, man. It's got to be Despicable Me. Which money made the least? Which movie made the least amount of money at the box office? There's no doubt it's The King's Speech. It's a drama. Which one stars Tom Hardy? Inception. Which one stars Leonardo DiCaprio? It's Inception. Lowest production budget? That's got to be The King's Speech. Longest runtime? Wouldn't surprise me if that's Inception. Although having seen Alice in Wonderland in theaters, it felt like it was 100 hours long. Highest production budget? I bet it was Alice in Wonderland. But it could be Despicable Me. Shortest runtime? Children's movie? Give me Despicable Me. Oscar for Best Picture went to The King's Speech. Score by Hans Zimmer? I know that one. That's Inception. Stars Johnny Depp. That's Alice in Wonderland. Lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes should be Alice in Wonderland. Spawn the most sequels. I'm going to go ahead and say Despicable Me. Directed by Tim Burton. That's Alice in Wonderland. Christopher Nolan. That's Inception. Highest critic st score on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm going to say it's The King's Speech. Stars Colin Firth. The King's Speech. Made the most money at the worldwide box office. <sighs> this could go three ways. Inception was a hit, but it's rated R. Alice in Wonderland shouldn't have made any money, but it was probably popular worldwide because it's like a dream collaboration for 2010. But Despicable Me was a wildly successful children's animated film. I got to say it's Despicable Me. Oh! <laughs> physical, I sustained physical damage. Alice in Wonderland? Stars Steve Carell. That would be Despicable Me. Features grew. That would be Despicable Me. Okay, pretty good. 95%. Which 2011 movie? Which 2011 movie has the highest critic score on Rotten Tomatoes? Moneyball. Which received a nomination for Best Original Score? Moneyball. <laughs> oh, shit. Lowest production budget? Not Moneyball. Probably The Help. Fewest Oscar nominations. That's got to be Bridesmaids. It's a comedy. Directed by Paul Feig. That would be Bridesmaids. Highest production budget is no doubt as War Horse as Steven Spielberg. Least money at the worldwide box office. The Help. Moneyball! 
Is I, that's ironic. Directed by Tate Taylor. The Help. Emma Stone, The Help. Bennett Miller. Moneyball. Shortest runtime, Bridesmaids. It's a comedy. Made the most at the worldwide box office. It's War Horse. Why? Do good for bridesmaids, honestly. Nobody talks about War Horse at all now. So I maybe you should have assumed that, but I don't know. You just don't expect raunchy comedies to be the biggest of, of four movies. Kristen Wiig, that's Bridesmaids. Brad Pitt, that's Moneyball. It's one of the greatest movies of all time. Lowest critic score on Rotten Tomatoes? I bet it's War Horse. Which movie is the tagline, what are you really worth? I'm going to say that's... The help is actually Moneyball. <laughs> Psychic damage. Change begins with a whisper. The help. Which movie stars Benedict Cumberbatch? War Horse. Which movie won an Oscar? War Horse. Really? It was nominated for like 20. Steven Spielberg directed. I'm embarrassed. We still beat the average though. That was a tough one. We got, it's because we're going in the wrong direction. We got to go back to 2008. No help. No help. Highest production budget. Holy cow. That's tough. I don't think it would be the first Twilight movie. I also don't think it would be the first Iron Man. I'm going to say it's The Dark Knight, but I think... I mean, computer movies are expensive to make, but I think it was The Dark Knight. Distributed by Walt Disney Studios. They bought Pixar before they bought Marvel. I'm going to say it's Wally. -E. Features the villain Obadiah Stane as Iron Man. Shortest runtime. This is a very tough one. Dark Knight kind of long as hell. All three of the other ones could be shorter. I feel like Wally -E goes places though. It has like five acts. I feel like it. I feel like it's Twilight. Son of a always go with the kids movie, man. Longest runtime is the Dark Knight. It's four and a half hours long. Jean Favreau directed Iron Man. Stephanie Meyer wrote the material for Twilight. Kristen Stewart's in Twilight. Features the character Eve. That would be Wally. -E. Least money at the box office of all of these. So it's either Iron Man or Wally. -E. Iron Man was the first MCU movie. It was a smash hit success. Wally -E was a Pixar movie from the golden age. I bet, it, I bet Iron Man made the least. Wow, okay, never mind. You know what? I should have thought about it. Twilight has no cross-demographic appeal. Even though it's insanely popular, it, it only hits with its own narrow subset of the demography. Which movie was directed by Christopher Nolan? Dark Knight. Which movie was directed by Andrew Stanton? Wally. Received an Oscar nomination for Best Original Score. Dark Knight? I should have gone with Wally. -E. Come on. Lowest production budget. Honestly, I feel like Twilight was cheap as hell to make. It had two unknowns in the leading role and looks like it was shot on an iPhone. Gwyneth Paltrow is in Iron Man. Catherine Hardwick directed Twilight. Iron Man is based on a Marvel comic. Iron Man has Robert Downey Jr. Most Oscar nominations, I honestly bet it was The Dark Knight. Made the most at the worldwide box office, The Dark Knight. Okay, that was, we, we got shoehorned there a little bit, but you know what? We still beat the average. Take me back to 2007. Set predominantly in France, that would be Ratatouille. Directed by Michael Bay, Transformers. Their war... Our World, Transformers, directed by Brad Bird, Ratatouille. Bird directed a movie about a rat? What the hell? Shortest <coughs> runtime. It should be Ratatouille. It's a I Am Legend is shorter than Ratatouille. Ratatouille is a kid's movie. Most money made at the box office. Sad to say, it must be Transformers. Most sequels? Oh, American Gangster, dude. Because after American Gangster, they made American Graffiti, American Beauty. 
American made. It's Transformers. American Hustle, lowest budget. So is not going to be Transformers. American Gangster starred Russell Crowe and Denzel Washington. That's a lot of money, but it could still be the least. I Am Legend starred Will Smith and nobody else, but it did have presumably a high production budget for CG and set design. Ratatouille, animated movies are just expensive to make in general. I'm going to say it's American Gangster. Most <coughs> Oscar nominations. The Academy doesn't respect children's movies. I bet American Gangster got... Never mind! Shia LaBeouf, Transformers. Patton Oswalt, Ratatouille. Based on a novel by Richard Matheson. I Am Legend. Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott directed American Gangster. A comedy with great taste. That would be Ratatouille. Will Smith, I Am Legend. Made the least at the box office. It's American Gangster, even though it's an amazing movie. Russell Crowe, American Gangster. No Oscar nominations. I feel like it's got to be I Am Legend. I feel like this would be nominated for like most CGI. Longest runtime. American Gangster. Francis Lawrence directed I Am Legend. Okay. Better. Better? Closer, warmer. I'm willing to go back to like 2004, okay? And that's, that's as far as I'm willing to go. Directed by John Lasseter. That's Cars, I think. I'm passing. Shortest runtime. I bet... See, we got two children's movies here. That's the problem. I'm going to say it's... Night at the Museum. Lowest budget? <coughs> There's no way. This had Tom Hanks. There's no way this is low budget. Cars was animated. Casino Royale. Daniel Craig was not that well known, but you had to give him a big raise, I'm sure, just to get him to be James Bond. And they're just expensive movies to make with lots of stunts. But then this had Ben Stiller, Robin Williams... There's some CG involved in this. You're going to think I've lost my fucking mind. I think it was Cars. That's insane. It's Night at the Museum. <laughs> Highest critic score must be Casino Royale. That's the easiest question we've ever had. Highest budget? I'm gonna, I honestly think that the Da Vinci Code might have had a higher budget than Casino Royale. I think on this one, they were like, we got to be very efficient because this is the reboot. And then on The Da Vinci Code, they were like, this is a prestige film for Tom Hanks based on an insanely popular book. Everyone's getting paid. The caterers are getting paid. All right, never mind. Imagine, though. Bonnie Hunt. I don't know. I'm going to assume that she was in Cars. Longest runtime? The Da Vinci Code was uh, about two and a half hours longer than it should have been. When the lights go off, it's on. That would be Night at the Museum. Directed by Ron Howard. That's the Da Vinci Code. Made the most at the worldwide box office. I honestly tip the hat to Cars. That's, that's insane. That never should have happened. I saw the Da Vinci Code in theaters, by the way. So I'm part of the problem. But Night at the Museum. Lowest critic score. Should honestly be the Da Vinci Code. Made the least at the box office. I'm going to say it's Night at the... Oh, Cars made less than Night at the Museum? It's kind of unbelievable. Directed by Sean Levy. Night at the Museum. Stars Tom Hanks, Da Vinci Code. Score by Randy Newman. It's Night at the Museum. I shouldn't. He's a Pixar classic. Casino Royale. Martin Campbell did Casino Royale. Most Oscar nominations? Jeez, man. What a, what a cursed question. 
how the hell are you supposed to guess which one of these movies got the most nominations? Casino Royale, best stunt work. Da Vinci Code, I'm guessing, didn't get nominated for shit. Best period piece costumes. Night of the Museum probably also got nominated for shit. So I think it's Cars, man. John Lasseter directed Cars. Okay. The average score, 57. That's vindicating to know, like, that that was a hard one. Score by Hans Zimmer. Batman Begins. Novel by H.G. Wells. War of the Worlds. Most money at the worldwide box office. It's not Wedding Crashers. It's an R-rated comedy. It did break $100 million, which is rare domestically for an R-rated comedy at the time. I honestly think it's, it's War of the Worlds. It's tough, though. It's not Batman Begins, I think. King Kong is Peter Jackson remaking a highly noteworthy property right after Lord of the Rings. War of the Worlds, though, was like a summer release. Tom Cruise. I think it's War of the Worlds. I saw both in theaters. Lowest production budget, without a doubt, is The Wedding Crashers. Naomi Watts was in King Kong. Liam Neeson was in Batman Begins. Made the least at the box office is The Wedding Crashers. Directed by Christopher Nolan, Batman Begins. Highest production budget must be King Kong. First in a trilogy, Batman Begins. Stars Owen Wilson, Wedding Crashers. Christian Bale, that's Batman Begins. Directed by Peter Jackson, that's King Kong. Shortest runtime, Wedding Crashers. Really? <laughs> War of the Worlds is shorter than Wedding Crashers? There's a damn alien invasion. Directed by Steven Spielberg, War of the Worlds. Longest runtime. He's got to be King Kong. It was exhausting. Received no Oscar nominations. I'm going to say that's The Wedding Crashers. Directed by David Dobkin. It must be Wedding Crashers. Stars Tom Cruise. Won the most Oscars. It's got to be King Kong. Better, better. I remember War of the Worlds. I saw it in, uh, I saw that in theaters. Apparently, I've already done which 2004 movie. I saw it in theaters with Mouth. 2003 movie, okay? Kate Hudson, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Morgan Freeman, Bruce Almighty. Lowest Budget, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Directed by Tom Shadyak, Bruce Almighty. Shortest Runtime, Finding Nemo. Jim Carrey, Bruce Almighty. Jennifer Aniston, Bruce Almighty. Lowest critic score? It's got to be How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Best-selling DVD of all time? Pirates of the Caribbean. That's a really tough question. I think both of those could have been very up there. He's Got the Power. That's Bruce Almighty. Gore Verbinski, that's Pirates. Johnny Depp, that's Pirates. Most Oscar nominations? That's Pirates. Made the least at the box office. That would be Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Longest Runtime. I'm going to say that's Pirates. Directed by Donald Petrie. I pass. Made the most at the worldwide box office. How are you going to make me choose? Because Finding Nemo and Pirates of the Caribbean were both events. They were landmark events in cinema. I have to say pirates, but I wouldn't be su I wouldn't be surprised if it's Finding Nemo. Highest critic score, that'll be Nemo. Highest production budget, that's got to be Pirates, man. Directed by Andrew Stanton, that sounds like a Nemo guy. Donald Petrie sounds like How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. I'll take that. Nemo did did real well, huh? Okay, take me back to quizzes. Popular today. How about Hedgeman's clickable image quizzes? I'm 
Some of them are only 15 seconds long. That's not enough. I, I need more time. Nemo was like the first really big animated movie. Um, maybe you've not heard of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. It came out in 1927. It was in theaters for 75 years consecutively. It launched Disney's uh, mega empire. Maybe you haven't heard of the Lumiere brothers. One deadly decoy. Nine of the ten choices fit the criteria question presented after you hit play. <coughs> Pardon me. One is a decoy that will end the quiz if clicked. Quickly click the nine correct answers and avoid the deadly decoy. Okay, I can do that. Sure. <laughs> Code words. Wait a minute. I did this shit. NATO phonetic alphabet. Delta, Oscar, Yankee Hotel. Echo. Romeo. Oh, the quiz is over. Dude, that's not enough time. <coughs> that's not even close. How about... Playlist, playlist. Bands, mus musicians, A to Z. A named bands? No, I'm not going to do that. Most popular quizzes. Same shit every time. Find the U.S. states, U.S. states, countries of the world, U.S. states, countries of Europe. Clickable U.S. states, U.S. presidents, countries of Africa, countries of Asia. Complete the map snippet five. Can you complete the map by naming each country that would appear within the area of the map snippet? Maybe. That's Kenya. Next to Kenya is Uganda. Okay. Below Kenya is South Africa. Am I stupid? Chad, yes, you're stupid. Lesotho. Eswatini. Central African Republic. I give up. Okay, with God as my witness, I thought Kenya and South Africa bordered each other. I say that as somebody who's, uh, who's played a lot of GeoGuessr. In my head, it goes like Egypt, Ethiopia, Sudan, South Sudan, Kenya, South Africa. I was missing like the whole chunk out of the middle. And yet you guessed Chad. I was just, I was floundering. I just needed something, okay? Apparently I've done all of these before. No, no, no. Okay, I haven't done all of them. Cyprus. Okay, if we see Cyprus, we should see Greece. We should see Libya. We should see Turkey. Okay? We should sit next to that. We should see Syria. And we should see Lebanon. And we should see Israel. And we should see Egypt. What the hell? Okay, now, now I know where we are. We're, we're Ethiopia. What? Okay, I see Saudi uh, Arabia. I see Iran. I see Iraq. I see Oman. I see Yemen. I see the UAE. Okay. I see Jordan. I see Palestine. 
I see Afghanistan and I see Pakistan and I see Bahrain, a little Bahrain in there and Qatar. And honestly, I'm done. I thought that was pretty good. Although I feel like, is Ethiopia not there? What about Sudan? South Sudan? Doesn't go that far. Okay, honestly, that, seemed, that seems pretty good to me. I missed Kuwait, and I missed a little bit of Turkmenistan there. Fair enough. Average score, 86. What the fuck are you talking about? Only geo gods are playing this. Panama? Oh no, it's Central America. Guatemala? All right. Um, Dominica? Republic? Um, okay, let's say Colombia. Let's be smarter. Let's say Venezuela. Okay, it's not that big. It's not. It's Venezuela, Guyana. Then Guyana French version. Okay, um, Suriname. Brazil, of course. I would then probably say Ecuador. I would say Bolivia. Am I stupid? Is that even possible? I would say Peru. Okay, it, it, that was stupid. I would say Mexico. I would say Costa Rica. I would say El Salvador. I would say... Are you really not Guatemala? The Seychelles? I just like to throw that in there. I don't even know where it is. <coughs> Belize? Navidad? There's got to be... Whatever. Honestly, I'm taking my 55. I'm getting out of here. Because I knew it was going to be some shit like this. I, don't even get me started with the... All these islands up here from the Beach Boys song. I knew there was going to be something in there. Come on, just give me a map of the United States. Gibraltar. Okay, I can do Gibraltar. That would give us Spain. Which would give us Portugal. Which would give us Andorra. Which would give us France. Which would give us Switzerland. No, okay. It would give us Italy. Um, it would give us San Marino, as we all know. It would give us Vatican City. Okay, and then you've also got Mar oh, you got Algeria. You got Morocco. And then you're going across. You got Tunisia. You got Libya. I'm going to go ahead and guess I, that you can see Greece in this image, which means you could see North Macedonia, which means you could see Albania. It also means you can see Croatia. Also means you can see Bosnia and Herzegovina. Which also means you can see Serbia. No? Okay, my mistake. Means you can see Montenegro. You spelled it wrong? Oh, thank you. Serbia. I, I was wondering. I was getting a little confused there, which means Kosovo's right there. Okay. Bulgaria, maybe, is that? That's Bulgaria. And just above Bulgaria, you have Moldova. That hurt. Romania? Okay, Romania. 24 of 26. I believe I'm missing some stuff in here, maybe. Corsica? Is that a good Wait, 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 wait. Where's my um, Monaco? Yay! Okay. And then. I don't know. Yeah, I was just going to say another sovereign island nation, probably. What? Dude, that's not too bad. Monaco! 